I used to think insecure, being insecure was bad. If I was insecure, that means bad or I'm, I'm not good or all these other things. Insecure is a powerful energy. It's something that we do have because insecurity can give you an opportunity to get better if you would like to. I did the thing before in which the insecurities came up and I never dealt with it. But And what I did was try to put this protective bubble on myself so I didn't experience insecurity again. And inevitably the people that I was afraid I was gonna leave me for another person, they eventually did. It's like an inevitable thing. But during a relationship, I was trying to protect that from happening. So how would I protect myself? Being very combative, being very, like a, like a kid. That's the perfect example right there. Being a kid. Hey everyone, my name is Del from True Essence Connection. And I wanted to do a video today on insecurities. How many of you have dealt with some type of insecureness in your life. Raise your hand. Insecurity is something that I feel is inevitable for anyone. There are things in our life that we feel that we can't have, or there's things that we feel externally brings us security. Whether it's money, whether it's a relationship with a partner, whether it's success, whatever it may be, we can rely on these external things to bring us security. And what happens when we rely on external things for security? We want more of it. More money, more whatever you need your partner to do, more of those things, more success to feel secure, to feel secure. And without that thing happening, we feel insecure. We feel not worthy. We feel not good enough. Where does this belief of these things making us feel secure come from? Can I share a story with you? Maybe this will help resonate and you can ask your own self the question of where does these beliefs of security come from for me? Because we all are on our own unique journey. But for myself, a prime example of me being really insecure and I brought awareness to it is my insecurities that I had before with relationships. I was a late bloomer. <laughs> I didn't really have any like meaningful relationships until like I think high school my junior year I believe junior sophomore year whatever it is but my first experience with my relationship time in that time the person left me for another person <laughs> I'm sure a lot of us dealt with that before in which our partners at that time and we were fully invested into it and they decided to leave and go be with somebody else. That can really put a hamper on your worthiness and your self-worth, the confidence in yourself because this person that you invest your security in in the form of a relationship decided to leave you. Yeah, so with that happening, 
I then had this insecure feeling, this insecure fear of my partners that I get with of leaving me again for another man. So how did I handle that insecurity? I try to protect myself as much as possible to not have that happen again. And even I try to numb that feeling of somebody leaving me by doing things in a relationship to not be with that part. So I, at that time, had a story like, how can I feel more like the man? And my belief at that time was feeling more like the man would be like having multiple women. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing about that is it didn't matter how many women that I was with, how many other women that I had relationship with at the same time, it was still this void within me that couldn't be filled. It was like an infinite void and I kept trying to fill it over and over and over and over again, this feeling of secureness. Not even just for relationship, but I even did it with money. I even did it with chasing external successes for trying to fill this void within me that had me feeling insecure. It wasn't until hmm, a couple months ago when I really started to allow myself to go with that insecureness. And I invite you to, to try what I did. See if it works for you. I used to think insecure, being insecure was bad. If I was insecure, that means bad or I'm, I'm not good or all these other things. Insecure is a powerful energy. It's something that we do have because insecurity can give you an opportunity to get better if you would like to. I did the thing before in which the insecurities came up and I never dealt with it. But And what I did was try to put this protective bubble on myself so I didn't experience insecurity again. And inevitably, the people that I was afraid I was going to leave me for another person, they eventually did. It's like an inevitable thing. But during a relationship, I was trying to protect that from happening. So how would I protect myself? Being very combative being very like a like a kid that's the perfect example right there being a kid it's like a kid having a toy and a kid wants to protect that toy from being taken away and even the toy is a temporary experience just like a relationship is a temporary experience and eventually the relationship ends in whatever way it's going to end whether it's a partner leaving you you leaving a partner uh, being cheated on, decide to leave, whatever, whatever way, the partner may pass away, all these different type of things. And even, it's a temporary experience, even with the toys. But what I realized is, here's my first experience with relationships. And this is something I was yearning for when I was a kid. And now that I have it in my later teenage years, adult age, I would try to protect it. But then my first experience relationship in which that happened to me, then I try to keep myself protected from not feeling insecurities again. So I would do whatever I needed to do at that time that I felt to feel secure. And that translates to so many different things because the way that you interact with one thing, you do the same thing for everything else. So I was chasing for more security, more appreciation, more acknowledgement, more of these things from all these different women and even from jobs and work and other external stuff as well. And it took me to this point in which recently, because I do deep meditation work and I did an attention meditation of, I wanted to go to the origin of my insecurity. Where did it start? So I can love it. That's the catch 22 right there. Being curious about the insecurity within you and see where it originated from. 
Where did it originate from me? In my childhood. It's funny how things happen in our childhood that we don't know how much of an imprint it has on us as an adult and protecting ourselves as an adult, still being that kid part of us that doesn't want to feel that insecurity again. And I realized for myself, I took on so many different external labels for how I was, being weird, being this, being made fun of, and took it real seriously than just having it as a moment of somebody just sharing with me their opinion, their right to have their opinion. But what happened was before this, I had an opinion of myself. I was secure of myself. I felt good. But then step in the external world, you can lose that pretty quickly if you allow it to. And I was giving my power away to so many external things, not only for who I was, but also where, what to do to feel secure. I felt I needed to reach for these external things to feel secure within myself. And by doing that, it made me go over my boundaries, doing things that I didn't want to do, but I did it for the sake of feeling secure. It was all part of the journey because it got me to where I'm at right now in which I went to the origin of my insecurities and I started to love it. I started to be with it. I started to be okay with that part. And what happened from there is it starts to integrate the present insecurities that I did have in which I had an insecurity with my body. I acknowledged that I had insecure, insecurity with my body, but also I realized I have a choice for how I want to change the relationship with my body. So I started going back to the gym. And that's the thing. When I started to change the outer security to insecurity and going within and find out the origin of it and starting to shift it, I started to come to realization of things that I can control and things I can't control. And in the process of that, what happens is until you find that security is within you, you may potentially fall for things outside of you that you feel can give you security and allow things to continue that don't serve you. And you know that it doesn't serve you for that fear of using that, losing that security, that security in a relationship that security in a job, security in whatever that security is, the security in doing the stuff you're doing right now for that fear of feeling that insecureness again. But it's there. And when you can acknowledge it and be with it contemplatively in whatever way that you can, just be with yourself. You don't need to home chant it or like whatever. For me, I just be with myself unconditionally. Set that space for whatever I'm going through to be heard and go to the origin of it. It's never the first, the thing that's happened to you right now that is the root cause of the insecurities. It's just another leaf on the full plant or whatever emotion it is. And this one's just insecurities. But when you allow yourself to start to go to the root of it, the origin of it in your own story and asking yourself that question and being with yourself and seeing where it started from and being able to love yourself for that moment game fucking over because you start to develop this inner security within yourself and it's infinite it keeps growing and what happens is the more that you connect with this secureness within you and allow it to expand and grow these things externally that you're looking for to feel secure with it doesn't even match it on a level it doesn't because it's like this level, whatever this is, is infinite. Infinite continues to grow. So you can grow even deeper into your secureness. And you can start asking yourself, how can I feel more insecure or more secure today? Not more insecure, because we want to get out of that. <laughs> how can I feel more secure today? Asking yourself these questions, being with yourself, and start to do the things for it. And in the process of this, you get to make resolutions with this parts of you, these moments in which you gave your power away for that security and it didn't work because it's all temporary. All these external things are temporary. It's only going to lead you to a certain point and you're going to want more and it's going to be a struggle to get that more externally, but you can always get more internally. You just got to be willing to go within.
Stay connected.